Right, morning tubers. Not done a video in a while. Been too busy. So I thought I'd go out on the Hemi today. It'd be the MC tomorrow. Today is uh, Tuesday. She's not been out for a week. And she's doing the motorway run today. Study webs. It needs to warm up a little bit. The one thing I have found with it, the screen fogs up a lot on it. Cheap plastic behind there, so I did watch uh, one YouTuber who seals it behind. So there's a few things that have. Uh, I've got to do with her. Oh, where am I going here? Yeah, she's uh, she's not as uh, because of the big front wheel. She's not as. It's not as easy to manoeuvre at lower speeds than the uh, NC, to be honest. Still nice though. Still a lovely little machine. Mirrors are crap. I've ordered a new set of mirrors for it. Really don't like the mirrors. Had the shit. And you can't believe it now, I'm, I'm late out this morning, it's about 10 to 8 now. But look how miserable it is. I think somehow I'm going, to, I'm going in on a day when it's... Uh, it's going to throw it down. Been busy at home. I was lucky to keep me shed in them storms that come the other day. It, it literally uh, had a large canopy in my back garden and it lifted it right into next door neighbours. Because I hadn't bolted it to the floor, I didn't want to bolt it to me. Uh, to my patio flags. It would have probably took the flags with it to be quite honest with you. Which I was quite happy about it disappearing. The missus bought it because she wanted it. I just thought it was just a pain in the backside. It just caused me loads of grief when I was cleaning the windows or getting to the gutters. It was always in the way. And I have noticed there, uh, the brakes are still a little bit hard on this. They're not fabulous brakes, they work. But they are a little bit hard. And third gear, 40 miles per hour. Fourth gear, 40 miles per hour. <laughs> I do love this. This bike, it is. You either love it or you hate it. I'm watching loads of people now talking about uh, the new one and the old one. There's completely different bikes, people. They come. They're just completely different bikes. You know, if you want a 40 horsepower liquid cooled motorcycle with upside down forks, go and buy the Himalayan, Himalayan, Himalayan uh, 452. Because it isn't this machine. This is completely different all the way around. And I think the people that have got this, it's as much nostalgia than it is as much uh, the bike itself because you know being dead honest about it it's not a high high quality bike it's not it's not a high quality build it's a cheap bike but depending what you want to do on it I thoroughly enjoy my time riding this bike I prefer my NC from the road like this, there's no ifs or buts there. I much prefer the NC because it's like here now. 
you haven't got the same power to overtake but you can still do it you just got to take your time and it's such a planted but it's it feels a lovely when you get going on this bike it feels absolutely lovely in the bends when you're riding it it's a really comfortable bike it sits you up straight it drops your shoulders back and you can get bar risers which i'll probably do i don't know whether we even need them but that little bit more coming up it suits me you know it's not a gsx in the corners it's a slug and she's uh done just short of 200 miles now so we're calling up this week to uh we get our free first service free with it and uh I'll be getting a service over the Christmas period go in and see Colin see when there's a spot because remember you can't just go in and then it'll be done that day the bikes as well when they actually service these and when they uh, when you actually do your valves when you set your valves on any bike to let you know your valves need to be totally cold the engine needs to be stone cold uh, so don't ever set your valves when the engine's been been running so that comes to the other side because I've been watching quite a few people on this this machine that do upgrades to it and uh, one of the upgrades that people seem to like is the uh, tech cam upgrade on it which allegedly gives it a bit more power but do you know something I'm going to see how I get on because I'll be dead honest with you I'm not even bothered about it it pulls away it does what it needs to do got a right like juddering now it's uh like a bumpy feeling uh yeah i'm just gonna ride her i think what i'm gonna do with that i'm just gonna ride her for 12 months i've got some uh, crash bars to fit to it you'll see i've put a uh, a back box on it I found a really cheap back box, well I had a cheap back box in the uh, in my garage so I thought I'll bolt that to it to carry me bits and pieces I've got crash bars that I bought for 80 quid off eBay off someone who's getting rid of one like brand new so I've got to put them on it some rear carrier brackets to come pannier brackets which they're coming from India they were about uh, 85 pounds so what whether there's import duties on it I don't know on that I'm presuming there will be import duties there's quite a, a bit of a uh, I don't know why today when I'm riding it it's like a bouncy feeling on it may need to just look at the tyres because I didn't check them this morning yeah it's quite you can see my hands bouncing up and down there's, there's some sort of and it's not the road surface what's causing that that's a bit weird It carries on like this, I'll have Parkinson's by the time I get to work. No, I've not done any filtering on this bike yet. So, no, oh, I think I may have done one bit of filtering on it.
it may just be the road surface, but I've never noticed it before when I've been on it, to be honest. So yeah, the tech cam may look at, there's quite a few things that uh, people do to them. And getting the green lanes over Christmas, can't wait for that, I've got two weeks off from Friday. I've got a couple of days out. Just have a ride out somewhere. Now here we go, now you know we talk about motorway speeds. We're on the motorway, M6 motorway, in the morning. We're doing 40 mile an hour. You know, so that's that's traffic here where I am so do you need a bike that does 120 mile an hour you don't it's quite a nice day today as well it's not cold it's uh, been absolutely dreadful weather over the last couple of days I mean I have gone in car last couple of days because of wind because you know there's I don't mind riding in any, anything to be honest but if you go to the wind that's a different thing and that's that's the best thing about this you drop the accelerator off to let someone in you just slow down and then you put it back on and there's no feeling of uh there's no feeling of, ah, oh, let's go. We're going. We're going to pick up speed and go faster. It just picks up speed. It just. It's like a sewing machine. <laughs> the more you press the pedal, the faster it goes. But it doesn't do it in the way of a sports bike or something with a lot of brake horsepower. It just trundles its way up to that speed. It's great. I love it. Lovely sky that in the morning. Yeah, she runs. The vibration stops when you get to uh, nearly 50. I do think, actually, on the motorways, this bike is. Uh, it sits lovely at 60, 65. It's like there now, it's 4,000 revs at 50 mile an hour oh we're going uphill now with the wind against us come on you can do it come on you can do it yeah there we go You don't either when you get a new bike because this is new you really don't want to be going over 5,000 revs on your bike with a new cam in it for the first 300 miles you know take your time with it to be honest and that you know we do know just short 60 mile an hour it's fab it's absolutely to be honest, I could quite happily sit at this. The problem is it'd take a long time. If you do a long tour, it could just be a long, laborious ride wherever you're going. But it's like I say, you're never going to lose your license, are you? Look at that beautiful sky in the morning. And this on the last... Uh, The last couple of days that I've been going into work, it's been horrendous. We get further up here to alter and then it just stops. So I've got a few few more bits and pieces to put on her. And then I want to get into over the winter, decided the winter project, finish off the uh, the phaser, the FZ6, the Bergman and get the KLE together I want to see them off next year and then just get some proper riding in 
And I'm going to do some camping as well. So I can't wait for that. Really looking forward to it. With a bit of luck, a few events, like the Richie V event. And we'll see what comes of the year riding. Like I say, there's nothing to dislike about this bike. There's just nothing fancy on it. And that's, you know, that's the truth of it. It's just a good old slugger. It just, it will get you to where you want to go. And comfortably. I think that's what you see now. You're actually seeing a lot of people. It's like the Meteors of 350 Meteors. You've seen uh, a lot of people now go into the smaller bikes, smaller capacity. And it's not just that, it's like the Africa Twin. It's £18,000. You know, you out of an arts once one, but you just don't want to, as a working class person with a budget, it's too much money for me. It's too much money, even on, on a payment plan, it's, you know, 250 quid a month. You know, this is £43 a month. You're just It's just a no-brainer. It's 60 to 70 to the gallon. Again, the same as the NC. But even the NC, just short of 10 grand now, 9,200 quid for the DCT. And then you're on the road prices. You know, they're not cheap. Go now, starting to chase the goal there. Like right there, I'm just keeping her under uh, 5,000 revs. Don't want to go in above that. Bit of that fine rain coming now. Play going off there. So I've got to say to anyway, I'm amazed this year. 900 subscribers plus thank you to all of you that watch my videos I do appreciate it and I hope you enjoy them you know I hope you get something out of them to be honest you know me viewers I hope some of them make you laugh that's it the home works anyway yeah, it's uh right. Let's watch. What's your light for filtering? She's much higher than the uh, the NC. I certainly don't feel as comfortable on it as I do the NC when I filter. I find her a little bit uh, bouncy at, at this sort of speed on the motorway. Now it could just be, like I've said before, look at the roads. If you look at there now, the line on the road, there's a dip on that. There's a, li there's a lip on it, so when you go over it, you can feel it. Because roadways don't know how to, uh, highways don't know how to do, don't know how to tarmac anymore. But, uh... Yeah, she's got a horrible, bouncy feeling. 
I've never noticed it, to be quite honest with you, before. I've just never noticed it. Could be tyres, could be tarmac. But I think that's what happens when you... Uh, Typical guy wants to go as fast as he can. But guess what, mate? You're going to get stuck. Not far from here. Your mighty powerful car is just going to stop. Well, we think it will. And it's got a bit blowy again today. Why would you just... You don't... I do not understand car drivers. You do 40 mile an hour, he puts his brakes on. Why? What is going on with them? And I get it when cars are up behind you. Sometimes when you look in your mirror, you think they're right on top of you and pushing you in the not. You know, uh, the truth of it, when you it's like me when I'm driving a car. And I was taught it when we drove buses. Don't matter who's behind you, let, let them push all you want, because if they run into the back of you, it's their insurance. You know, and that's the truth of it, ignore them. You know, don't, don't hold people up just for holding them up, say. Right there, move over. If, if you're not, if you want to, if they want to go as fast as you want to go, let them go as fast as you want to go. Well, it's turned out uh, pretty dismal up here, hasn't it? And this is, this is where your bike with more power comes in, really. Because to, to actually put on the power like that, you, you don't feel it on it. It just, just doesn't, it just builds up linearly. It just, it's just got no guts to do that. And even if you drop it down a gear, it'll just slow you down. I think I've said it. You know, normally when you get to a like my phase, if you drop down again and pull back to your throttle, your front wheel's lifting in the air and you're going much faster. This doesn't do that. Just the the long stroke on it and the the low down torque, all the power is just for trundling along at low speeds. So it's like that you if you're going to do this like motorways on it and it, you can do it you know don't let people come around telling you you can't do it because you can I'm doing it but you just have to prepare and be slightly prepared to change the way you actually ride on the motorway And it's nice when it's like this, at least it's, it's moving. I think I'd rather see it move all the way into Manchester today than a bit of, uh, a bit of filtering on it. Like I say, my intention for this bike is, is truly to do a bit of green lanes and the NC is to do the, to do the uh, the main roads and to do the commuting like this.
Now here we go, unfortunately it's going to uh, build up again. Yeah, she feels, it really does feel very vibrating and uh, lumpy is the word. Give yourself a lot of space there. It's not a smooth ride this morning. And the other thing, if you did notice, oh look, we've got some handguards on. So we put some handguards on her as well. The only cheapos, and they had a comment in there about them. They're not, they're not as good as Bart Busters. You're quite right, they're not. But they're there just as a purpose. And that's to actually keep the wind off my fingers and my hands. And I've said before, I've had bark buskers before and I've dropped a bike with them on and I've bent them. And I can tell you now, they're not fun to straighten out. You know, everyone thinks that they're a saviour for your bike. They're not a total saviour for your bike. Because they bend, they're like anything, they're aluminium. Ooh, getting used to now <laughs> filtering on this. It's weird. I think I have done, actually I have done a, I have done a, a filtering on it. It feels higher than the NC this. And they're not. I looked at them side by side and they're not. But you just feel it. You just feel much higher up on it. And the the one thing about it is that is different. It is much it feels much lighter. When you're riding like this, it feels a lot lighter than the NC. Nice guy moves across from me. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, and it is uh, it is very very jerky on the accelerator. It is not you know for filtering. It is not smooth for filtering. To be, to be quite honest with you, see you, mate. Hey, enjoy your traffic. Uh, I think to be honest. I much 100% prefer my NC for doing this. <laughs> it's like it is like being in a blue. It's like being on a tractor duk, 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 going through. Uh, now, people say they put that tech cam on it, and they say that makes the difference. It makes the smoothness, but I don't think it'll make that much to be honest. It may give you more power, like they say, 30 brake, but I don't think it'll change the the way the stroke of this engine works, I think that's what causes it to be like this. You just have to learn to control it. It's like when you pull the throttle, eh? You, you, you're pulling the throttle like a third of the way, and then it's starting to pick up the way. It's like your throttle cable's been stretched. It's the only way I can put it. But we're, we're getting through slowly. We're just... Uh, take our time and I, I uh I much prefer doing this in the car it's like I say uh, yesterday it was about 20 to 7 that I left to get in for, for 8 o'clock it's just, you know, it's it's an hour to an hour, an hour and a half each way of your day, added on to your day, commuting to work when you when you have to do what I do, and many of us do it, I suppose. So one's in a rush there, but uh, she feels all right though. She does. She just, uh, it's like that. Why don't you just keep up with traffic?
I mean, we're in third gear now. And that, that's the thing about this bike. You can just, like there, I'm just ticking over. Pulling in the clutch and coasting. I'm just trundling her through. It's just, it's an amazing little machine. It's like I say. It's gonna be, I can tell you now, it's got, the more people watch reviews and watch, uh, I want a fast bike, I want a more powerful one. It's just not that. And please don't, don't think it is that. You know. It's like even changing gear, you can hear the clunk when you change gear. It's not a refined bike. It's something like a keep and saying you love or you like. And you, you, an hour ride on it, well, I tell you now, an hour's ride on this won't really get you into it. If you can get someone to let you ride it for a day, or even a week, that's when you you really know whether you, you'd want to keep something like this. I mean, I, I absolutely love it. I've, you know, no supports, but it's like I say, it's not my favourite bike. My NC's my favourite bike. But, I look, why would you do that? You twat. That's what you've got, you see. You've just got fucking morons. Sorry, mate. I mean, it, I hate that as well. You can smell when someone's smoking the ganji when they're driving. Uh, and like I say, actually slow speeds. She does it, but she's uh, she's not a uh, she's not like the NC at slow speeds. And it's like that, you just go, some people just do not want you to get through. Found more and more, more and more people don't want you to get through, they just... Some like that, you get decent people like that, that move across, give you a little bit of space, and this guy here... Thank you. And, again, another one. And my uh, back box is rattling like you can't believe. Yeah, it's, it's one of them, you just, it's like filtering like this, you just have to really get used to it. You have to really get that big 21 inch front wheel on it. Makes a difference, you know, from your smaller front wheel to go through. Like I say, the long term of it, I'd much rather be on the NC doing this in between. Look at these roads, whoa, got motocross suspension to oh god! So how would you like to do this every day then? Five days a week. It's like there is, I have better ways to come in here but irrelevant the way I come in, there's, there's only either side of this road that I can get in on and uh, just traffic's horrendous. Traffic is just horrendous. You know, there's no escape from it. And I was watching Ice Diddy. Ice Diddy's the same when he uh, he does his videos, and we're the same. He uh, when you start concentrating and you and you uh, riding, you stop talking because you'll be going through, and you then suddenly just 
go we don't go silent for no reason it's because we're watching things watching cars up the inside slowing down looking at the gap seeing if we're going to make it yeah it, it's like even little things like that that's where the cheap you see the the uh the lever the bend in it is just yeah i'm not that right whoa that's it And that's it, you just have to, you, you do have to have eyes in the back of your head to do this, to be honest. Still fun. I think we'll, we'll, uh, we'll sneak in here now, because we're going left. I'll say to you all, thanks for watching. I haven't had a video out for a while. Hope you enjoy it. Bit of a boring waffle to work. But you know, ride safe, be kind to others, or good luck they'll be kind to you. And if I haven't got another one out for Christmas, all the best to all of you. Happy Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, I can't imagine I will have one. But yeah. Me and the Himmy and the NC say Happy Christmas to you all. Thanks for watching, Virtue Biker. See you later.